Welcome to Atomic World Success Show. Now it's time for the Dreamers Talk, a time where we get to hear the stories of people who achieve their dreams through Atomy. Do you have a desperate dream of your own? Well, don't miss the chance. Wondering who's in our studio today? Let's meet our very special guest. Welcome! Yes, thanks for having me. <laughs> Good to see you. Well, could you introduce yourself to our global Atomians? Hello, Atomians from all over the world. This is Jason Shim, the Crown Master from US, doing Atomy business for 13 years. And I'm working very hard to achieve my dream. Oh, beautiful, wow. beautiful introduction. I love it. I heard you are the second Crown Master in Atomy USA. Is that right? I mean, it's incredible, it is incredible, first of all, but uh, it's not only beautiful, you probably will have a really heavy weight on your shoulders because of that. Yes, I happen to be the second commerce in the U.S., and that doesn't really mean anything because I just started earlier than most of the people in the U.S., and I was just following the footsteps of the senior leaders from Korea, and I feel like I'm, you know, my uh, responsibility is to leave the right footsteps for other Atomians in the U.S. and in any other country. So mm. I believe if they follow the right footsteps, it's just a matter of time for their success. You know, oh. if, if you could dream it, you could achieve it. Wow. Beautiful words. Yeah, yeah. certainly very positive thinking as yes, well. It is. So I want to know, when did you move to the States? And Because I'm not sure if Atomy brought you to the States or some other business did. Well, uh, actually I got a job uh, for 1996. I got my first job after I graduated from college in Korea. And I thought, I have no strong points in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought I cannot make any good living mm. like that because I'm not good at most things. <laughs> so I decided to go to the U.S. to learn English. If oh, I could speak wow. English very well, I thought I could have a very good living. Right. But my life in the U.S. was very tough. Mm. I, ha I felt like I was drowning in a huge milk jar to oh. death. But guess what? If you, uh, you can make a cheese out of it. If you keep struggling without quitting, uh, you could make something. So not quitting is my strong point. And sure. it's been 26 years so far. Wow. Very inspiring. Perseverance. I think that's something that really moves lots of people forward, especially as immigrants. Must be very difficult to move to a new country and start it's from never the bottom. Easy. Right. We know that. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we definitely know Certainly, that. Certainly, it's part of so many people's stories, right? Mm. But we've also heard that you've done so many different types of work mm. in the U.S. and that eventually led you to Atomy. But how does that story go? Well, my first job in the U.S. was a busboy. You know, I was confused by the name. Right. And I was wondering, what am I supposed to do? You know, do I have to drive a bus or am I expecting any like a bus loaded customers? Um, but first of all, it's just to, supposed to clean the dishes of the uh, customer's uh, uh, table. Right. And then I, <laughs> I did a, a pedicure, li mm -hmm. pedicurist in the nail salon. <gasps> oh, and I wow. drove a, a fish truck in you know, Manhattan, New York. And, you know, when 9-11 happened, I had passed by that building one hour before that happened. Wow. Really? Wow. And um, so I worked in a warehouse making pallets of products, and I worked in, I, I, I did a door-to-door -door sales selling light bulbs. Oh, okay. Lastly, right before I met Atomy, I was working in a dry cleaners making deliveries. You know, as wow. you know, uh, supporting a family with four children by working dry cleaners was really tough. Sure. Yes, uh, so I, I was aware of that. You don't have not one, two, three, you have four children. That's, that's impressive. How do you keep it up with work and family at the same time? Isn't that difficult? Well, of course, I had uh, enough troubles by having uh, four children, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when my youngest one came to my home, I already had the trouble paying my mortgage. Oh. Yeah, that was my first house I ever bought and uh, got, by, got hit by the um, uh, subprime mortgage crisis. Okay. So uh, I, ha I ended up giving up the house, mm. and we have to move out from the house in the January uh, on a snowy day. Um, you know, my youngest one was born January 9, 2009, and the very same month mm. on a snowy day, we had to move out. Mm. And so I, since I lost everything, I became totally hopeless. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Wow, 26 years of doing the most random jobs. Well, a lot of experiences, a lot of memories you present. four yeah. kids, my goodness, and I'm sure that Atomy has some sort of influence to do with your success now. I mean, that kind of pulled you out of the, the hardship, and I want to know how that opportunity came to you. Well, it's a long story, <laughs> but to make it short, I met a totally stranger in, a, uh, in my friend's house. Uh, 
And she was explaining anatomy to my friend, and I happened to uh, visit him. And of course, she wanted to, uh, she tried to explain anatomy to me, but you know, it just sounded like a netto marketing, like typical pyramid scheme. And immediately, I said, no, thank you. Oh, but you she's not an easy, uh, she's not a person who give up easily. She pushed one more time, uh, trying to uh, recruit me in her group. Mm -hmm. uh, thank goodness for that. She didn't give up right away, you know. She insisted me to, uh, to join her group. And she wouldn't know who she was talking about, talking mm -hmm. to, you know, future imperial master or future crown master. Right. Right. I didn't know. <laughs> that my future would be at the time. Sure. There was wow. like a history moment at the, at the time. So mm. my advice for people who are just starting, you never know who you're talking to right now. Mm. That could be right. your future imperial master. Wow. wow. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely meeting that person a turning point in your life. Have you ever wondered, like inside your head, where would I be yeah. if I didn't meet that person? Mm. Of course, you know, I, didn't, I don't want to even imagine my life without Adam because if I hadn't met Adam I'll be saying every day to my life, sunny beach, sunny beach, like that, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, many people know already, uh, when I, I was shocked by our CEO's uh, speech, he started his speech by asking a question like this, you know, what would be the first decisions of uh, farmers would make when they actually go ahead and uh, farm, right? And the answer is, how much of what does he want to reap? Mm. Mm. So that moment, I had a light bulb in my head. Like a, just like the Benjamin Franklin said, if you fail to plan, you're actually planning failure. Right. Wow. So my life, I never planned anything. I was so busy trying to survive day by day, so I didn't have any uh, plan or dream. So that's why I was living like that, you know, trying to survive every day. Sure. Yeah. Wow, that's a story of surviving, actually. Yeah, yeah, I can feel it. And coming across uh, Atomy in your life, I think it's a huge luck itself. But, I mean, not everything was beautiful all the time. There's uh, bumps across the road sure. sometimes that you can uh, have. So let's uh, listen to some of the stories sent from uh, the listeners to us here today. Here's the first one. Hello, everyone. My name is Dan Dan, and I am from Perth, Australia. I joined at me since July last year. Before at me, I was a full-time registered nurse. Also, I am a single mom with two kids. Since I became at me distributor, I have been actively involved in at me and building my business with my active upline sponsors. Because from the day one in at me, I was so crazy about at me and I realized what a great company it is. The question today is, what made you believe that you could become successful with Atomy? Thank you for listening. Well, first of all, I was able to have faith in this business because it has the easiest way to start. Because, you know, uh, there's no joining fee. How can it be easier to sign up people than free membership? Sure. Right. And no obligation. How can you have peaceful mind in your heart then no obligation and no hmm. annual fee. And you know, no fee whatsoever, mm -hmm. no fever, and that means no headache, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I think it's, it's no, it'll be no brainer not to join an uh, Atomy member. Right. I think, and you don't have to invest any extra money. Mm -hmm. You just have to switch your buying habit. Sure. That you have to buy from regular store to Atomy, mm. that's all. And that becomes your uh, business investment. Mm -hmm. So secondly, you, ha you have no idea of the benefits of uh, having a unlimited, one global one server, unlimited levels, and limited incomes. Uh, it could take a whole night to talk about all the benefits of Atomy. Right. Yeah, but it's just great. Sure, yeah. yeah. I'm sure we can go all night long talking <laughs> about the perks and benefits right. of this very successful uh, business. So let's go ahead and uh, get the next question. สวัสดีค่ะ Hello, my name is Sudatip Jirawatanapon. I am a Sharon Road Master from Atomy Thailand. I have a question to ask you. Your life seems so perfect, and I am so envious of it. Did you ever face fear during the Atomy business? Of course. I had so many difficulties and troubles, and most of the troubles came to my thoughts. Uh, am I really making it happen? Mm. Or whenever I get denial from people, I get discouraged. Right. So every time I feel down, I listen to, I, I push myself to a routine. First, I listen to our CEO. 
He is the energizer. Whenever I listen to him, I, f I could feel his heart for people like us to be successful. And then I, of course, you know, I listen to Dr. Lee's uh, lecture. He shows the right way so that we can, we can follow. And most of all, all other Atomians not giving up, not giving up mm -hmm. from the all over the world. And whenever I listen to their uh, promotional speech, that is really inspiration, inspirational. So uh, that gives me uh, the, the, the pump up, and that's my routine that I push myself every time I feel down. Yeah. Well, I mean, pretty much everyone has a stressful and hard times during their lives, right? So I think those are the things that make you a better person also in business, right? And help you to overcome your fears. Mm. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Hello, this is Ji Hae Kim. I'm from Korea and Diamond Master in Korea. Working in this Atomy business has got me global business partners. Although there are not many people, I am excited every day and it almost feels like a dream. I am learning English because I want to explain the business firsthand to my partners who are like family to me. But it is not getting any better. Is there a way to learn a language fast? Oh. <laughs> Actually, I'm not, I'm not that good at English, English oh, either. Come on, he's been humble. So ah, too humble. You're so good at it, yeah. You know, I'm not that good at English, so I use my, the words that I know, and I, most of the time I couldn't, could not express myself precisely. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I believe in the power of the repetition. You just keep doing what you're doing, right? Then right. you get better. Right. So um, I started learning Spanish too, Espanol. Espanol, wow. sí. señorita. Wow. Sí, señor. Oh. <laughs> señorita. <laughs> yeah, señorita. Uh, yeah. That was just saying. Sí, right. I think you need to learn Spanish again. I'm as forgetting well. Spanish yes. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm learning Espanol uh, cinco a diez minutos todos los días. Wow. Really? Oh my goodness. And Did... I, I've been doing this for 555 days so far. <gasps> You count the days? That's impressive. So more than wow. a year. Yeah. Yes, You've been almost doing it every single wow. day. Yeah. So I practice every day. Of course, it doesn't make you make you a great advance in a short time. But if you want to do something, just keep doing it. And someday you will get better. Wow. The power of repetition. Yeah. Yes. The power of the repetition. Yeah. I like that. I'm sure that so many people can relate to your struggles of learning a language. Can you relate to Of course. Yeah, really. I mean, how many times have I struggled trying to <laughs> get my point across in Korean? Oh, it's um, hard. You know, it's very yeah, difficult. It's very difficult. So, much respect. And I actually want to know if there are any plans, you know, what is the end goal of learning Spanish as well? Well, sometimes, of course, I like to give a speech in Espanol. Oh, wow. really? Traveling to South America and Europe too. Wow, he's going to take my job too. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Yeah, that'd be fun. Well, I hope uh, you just keep that great work. If you have any question about Spanish, you can always ask <laughs> a professor because I'm not really good at explaining it, actually. Yeah. But, yeah. Keep, up with Espanol. keep it going. <laughs> no te rindas. No te Don't give up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, talking about partners, how many countries are you partners with? Mm. Well, actually, I think I have partners in most of the countries that is in. Okay. I think 23 countries so far. Wow. Yeah. 23 countries? Wow. Yeah. So you basically do a world tour. <laughs> you keep traveling around the world, making friends all around the world. Can you give us any tip to make global partners like faster? Well, Many people ask me that question, mm -hmm. and my answer would be, you know, start from where you are right now. Because, oh. you know, going other countries with uh, doing the business and with the cold country, that would be really difficult. So my advice is start from where you are and start from right now. Sure. Then don't skip saying this to your partners. I want to have a global partners. I want to have a global mm -hmm. business. Keep saying it. Oh. Put the idea in their yeah. head. Yeah, which means raise your antenna. Sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. someday if you keep doing it, it's just a matter of time you have a global business. Right. Somebody's going to think of what you exactly. said. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactamente. Exactamente. <laughs> oh, I feel so great here today. <laughs> what a Spanish like yeah. home. <laughs> well, these are great tips, and hopefully our Atomians around the world are taking notes as well. But you've, uh, you've been connected to a foreign partner through people around you as well. And so pull out your radar. You know, one day you can be on this couch as well. Ooh, exactly. Yes. And who knows, we, we could be interviewing you, you and hearing your stories as well. Shall we go to the next question? Hi everyone, I'm Eddie, sales master from London. 
We all know that Atomy Business isn't a one-man show and the role of the leader is especially important. Is there a quality that you think is essential for all the leaders? Yeah, I think you have to have a faith. You know, to have faith, you have to have a great understanding about Atomy first in your head. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't have a, a sufficient condition to be successful. Mm. But you have to have faith in your heart. Once you have faith, it'll get you started, mm. no matter where, what situation you are in. Mm. And once you get started, you have to have endurance and consistency. Just like Christians go to uh, uh, churches every Sunday and do the Bible study every, almost every day, uh, continuous. trying to, yeah, trying mm. to uh, keep the faith. Right. That's why I think uh, you have to have faith first. Sure. Yeah. It's one of the hardest things to do, though. It is. It is. Yeah. You, you really need a lot of effort. But I think it's really important to have faith, uh, not also in you, but in your business as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also encouraging for the partners to have a leader that right. it knows how to be patient in difficult situations. Mm -hmm. Are you trying your best every day to become that leader? Yes, I was able to uh, endure most of the things, tr the troubles and the hustles. Uh, by listening to our CEO. He's my mentor. I'm pretty sure most of the successful people in Atomy, every time I listen to him, I can feel his uh, confidence, courage, and uh, faith. Uh, get, that gives me courage. Mm -hmm. You know, he said, courage is not feeling no fear, but facing, confronting the fear and fighting against it. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I was able to endure, maintain my faith in Atomy. Mm -hmm. Right. Just because you're a leader, it doesn't mean that you aren't scared. Right. It means you're still that, a person. <laughs> sure. It means that you can go through those scary times mm -hmm. with a little more faith, yeah. as you said. That's really interesting. I mean, you yourself seem to be, you know, a very successful leader. And I want to know if you are able to kind of scout out the leaders, potential leaders as well. Yeah, actually, I see their attitude. You know, mm -hmm. uh, recruiting Atomians is not hiring employees. Mm. Actually, we are uh, looking for CEOs of franchise of Atomy. Wow. So then the answer is simple. I see their responsibility, I see their uh, courage, I see their all uh, accountability, etc., etc. So most of all, I want people with a dream mm. who can dream and share their dream and make a plans with their partners to make it come true. Yeah, yeah, we need that ambition. Yes, you need the ambition. You sure do. Okay, so we have a last question. Let's go to it right away. Hi, my name is Margarita Mena, Sharon Rosemaster from Atomy Mexico, and I have a question for you. What is the most impressive accomplishment that came to life from your life scenario? Oh. Well, I had a dream that I want to come to Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, but before I met Atomy, I was just very, very uh, ordinary, hardworking person, but always short of money. I couldn't skip one day from my red race. I had to keep running my red race to trying to make ends meet. Many, uh, many nights I cried, not because of my pity situation, but because of my mother. Mm. I thought my mother never can see me in person. You know, how can I afford airline tickets when I barely paying my bills, and how can I take off like one week or two weeks because you know, I have to keep running my red race. Right. And, and most of all, I didn't have my green card. Oh, oh no. In the wow, US. What a difficult situation. Huh? So if I come out of the US, I cannot go back. Mm. But when I had to write down my life scenario, that would be my dream. You know, if I could just go to Korea and if I could get a wedding, remind wedding in front of my parents, you know, um, thank God, uh, God is good, right? Uh, 19, 2019, January, I got my green card. Oh. And I was able to bring my whole family to Korea and we did a remind wedding in 2019. And we went back to US, right? But right after that, you know, 2020, the pandemic happened. Right. So at that time, 2019, we had no idea. Oh, you know, God is good. It happened one year earlier. Right. But in 2020, when the, all the pandemic is happening, you could see what is the real uh, plan by God on my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was the most touching, uh, scary uh, story that I had uh, about my uh, uh, life scenario. So my advice is make a plan. What is your dream? What do you really want to do? 
going to Korea was my dream. And everything came true because of Adam. Thanks to Adam. Wow. wow. That's great. That is a, it's a great quote that you said once again. If you don't plan, then you're planning to fail. Benjamin Franklin. Yep. That's a wonderful yeah. quote. Makes you really think. Well, congratulations once again. Definitely. Uh, that deserves a it round does. of applause because it's an amazing story. It is. Sure. I love Successful it. Yeah. life. And congratulations on the vow renewal as well. A wonderful wedding ceremony with your kids. Yep. Yeah. Of course, you know. I was able to bring my whole uh, family, you know, six tickets, airline tickets, oh, wow. six <laughs> airline tickets. Flex. Cost me thousands of dollars. Wow. Sure. Not yeah. thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> of course, <laughs> yes. It's not easy. Yeah. Well, well, that's all the questions we have for today. Um, is there anything else you would like to say to the global partners taking this opportunity to say something? Yeah, of course. You know, Atomy provides everything you need to be successful. And Atomy shows so much evidence in different ways. Uh, so many successful leaders and uh, so many uh, proofs, you just have to follow their footsteps. Right. And I'll give you my last tip. I said this earlier, I cannot stress enough to say this. Benjamin said, if you fail to plan, you are actually failing the, p no. <laughs> <laughs> Did Benjamin say that? I think so. I, I think it was no, kind no, no. of different, yeah. <laughs> like, like Benjamin said, if you fail to plan, you You're are planning failure. failure. There yes. you go. So make a plan mm. on your dream mm -hmm. and start working on it. Oh, yeah. beautiful words. My goodness. Thank you yeah. once again for answering all these questions. We got a lot of insight and a oh, lot yes. of tips as well. Yeah. But I do want to ask you one more thing. I mean, you've gained so much un up until this point. Mm -hmm. Do you have future plans? Is there more that you want to achieve? Well, uh, I'd like to travel the whole world. Why not? Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm making a list of cities that I want to visit. Oh. And I want to visit each city one month. But if I like it, I will extend it to six months. Wow. Oh. Yeah, so, you know, that's something that you could do when you have a, a real freedom. Sure, financially financial freedom. and timely freedom, then you can travel, you know, without worrying about anything. And that's my plan. Oh. And then I like to invest my life to the environment activity mm -hmm. because the, the earth is getting sicker. And I like to uh, uh, contribute my life to that right. after that. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit of information about the cities you want to well, visit? Like Cancun. Maybe oh, Cancun. 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 Paris. Oh. Oh. Swiss. Oh. My wow. goodness. Yeah. Uh, Ita Italy. Yeah. And, and Australia. So many cities that so many know, places are in to my go. list. You know, Definitely. Yeah. yeah. All around the world. There you go. <laughs> Why not do it two or three times yes. while you're at it? But at least once. But For at now. least once. For now. We'll see. We'll see. Well, because uh, lots of cities to visit. Too right. many cities already, actually. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much once again, Crown Master Shim. It's been a blast to hear about your yes. story and talk about the success and the freedom that you wish to achieve as well. We admire your perseverance, your endurance, your passion as well, and we wish you all the best for your future as well. Thank you very much for having me. Right, so Dreamers Talk will continue to be the channel of communication. So if you have any questions, please send it to us through the Atomy World Success Show official email. It's going to be listed down below. We will answer all your questions. Well, thank you very much, Crown Master Shim. And Jason, it was such a privilege to meet you. Hopefully, we'll see you again soon. Again, thank you very much for having me. No problem. Thanks all for watching and see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Actually, becoming an admin is the best thing in my life. I was so lucky and very fortunate. Please have confidence. Don't think twice. Once you set the goal, keep moving forward no matter what. It might be taking longer than you expected. You might be limping a little bit. But that's totally fine because admins are not meant to be the first winner. It doesn't matter when you start it, you just have to become the finisher. Now is the perfect timing. Don't compare yourself with others. Run your Atomy race and finish it. Then no matter who you were, you will become a royal swan flying the sky. I can do it. You can do it. We all can do it. See you at the top. Actually, all of these are happening in my life because of my much better half and my children. My wife is much better visionary person than me. She's always there for me, caring for me, and supporting me. Honey, you are an amazing woman. And my children are my reason for me work hard day by day. Thank you very much for everything. I love you all. 구독, 좋아요, 눌러주세요.